Hello, this is Eddie Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Mad World video, I want to talk to you about the cash shop. Mad World is going to be a free-to-play MMO that comes out officially on April 27th. But if you spend money, you can get early access to the game. So that's also kind of why I'm making this video, so I can kind of give some insight as to what I think you should use your currencies on and your founder pack items on if you've purchase those founder packs. But if you're watching this after the fact, I hope you'll get some benefit from this video as well, just so you can know what's on the cash shop and what I think is worth actually spending money on. Matterworld has three different currencies within the game. You have gold, which is just earned from playing the game. This doesn't cost any money to buy. You also have crystals, which you can purchase with MCash. MCash is your currency that you're going to actually buy with real life money. A 100 MCash is $2 USD. Now the crystals over here that we're going to talk about, you can actually earn in game if you play the black market. You can post up anything in the game for sale on the market here and put up a price of crystals. And if people buy it, then you'll make crystals. You can break into the market that way for crystals. So keep that in mind as we're going throughout the video that the only currency that you can't actually earn in game that you do have to buy with money is that MCash. With that in mind, let's go ahead and talk about MCash first. MCash can be used for a lot of different things. The number one thing that I want to point out here is there is a battle pass. And I'm used to battle pass having like a free track and a paid track. Not so much in this game. In Mad World, the way that the game pass works and the premium track is actually, if you don't own the premium pass, you straight up can't get anything from some of the levels. So you can see right here, just levels one through 10, I'm only able to get half of the rewards. So once I got my battle pass to level two and three, I didn't even get any rewards because I haven't bought the battle pass yet. This battle pass will run you 800 M cash, which is 16 US dollars. You can also earn points just from doing your daily and weekly quests, just like you would expect with any battle pass. Now the battle pass rewards vary from gold all the way up to gems that you can use. I know it's not English, but I've gotten this from up here for the free rewards and over here as well. And these actually have gems in them that are higher tier than what I've been finding. Granted, I'm only level 21 or so, so I'm not at the end game yet. But I do think that as you go on, that some of these gems are going to be strong and absolutely make you more powerful. You can also get dust from this, which will help with your crafting. We'll talk, we'll talk about crafting in another video. Basically, it'll just make it so you have less of a chance to fail when upgrading your gear. I just find it awkward that you can't actually see what's in this box since it's not written in English. I don't know what's actually like inside of this box. Since I haven't opened it on the free track. And I don't even know if it is on the free track if I were to go through and push through. So whatever's in this box, I mean, I think you'd only get from buying the pass. So that's your battle pass. And this one lasts about 40 days. So that's what, about a month and a half. So every month and a half, you'll have to buy a new battle pass if you want to stay up to date on that, which is 16 bucks. Also with MCash, you can buy crystals. We already talked about that. Over here, you can get a pack that is daily crystals. And this lasts for 14 days, so you only pay 560 MCash, which is the same amount, which would be 560 crystals. It's a one-to-one -one ratio for MCash to crystals. But you would end up with like 700 crystals, I think it ends up being. So, you know, you get, what, 140 free crystals there. I guess they're not free. You still paid for them, but there is that. Then you have to log in every day for 14 days to claim them as well. Mad Pass, and then another thing you have with the MCash is the World Trees Blessing. Now, this is kind of like their VIP premium type service. And here's what that is. You can get one Phantom Sphere every two days, which is four costumes, which is part of their gotcha system that we will talk about in another video. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet for more Mad World videos. You also get five more registration slots on the black market. Now, if you look at the black market, you actually get 10 slots per character and a hundred of slots for your account. So, you know, five extra slots, which I have right now. So without it, I would only have what, five slots, I guess. Or you can buy seven days. So here's another thing I didn't even notice for a hundred crystals, you can 
get more slots. So that's your world tree blessing. You also get HP recovery and MP recovery, 10% outside of combat, super minimal. And then abyssal moth recharge rate, which that is your, how you get around the map right here. This thing goes up to 10 charges and recharges over time. And this is how you just teleport. Like if I wanted to go to a different zone here, I could click here, click on the little moth button and bring us there consuming one charge. Again, it recharges over time. So 20% recharge. I don't know. I don't feel like the world trees blessing is necessarily worth it to me personally. But again, we'll talk about the video of everything that I think you should buy or that I think is worth it. Also with MCash, you can expand your inventory for 14 days. You get 20 inventory slots for 14 days. So once the 14 days is over, you lose those 20 inventory slots. This will cost you $5, 250 MCash. Costumes, you can buy your daily spheres. These are your phantom spheres. Again, this is for the costume gotcha system. This is pretty much gonna work the same way as that crystal trade where you get 14 days, you get spheres. You can also buy pets, uh, high grade pets. And this is a huge deal. This is absolutely massive because if you get a pet in game without spending money, you have to level it up and nurture it before you can use it as a mount. Now, if you pay the $7 and 50 cents, I think it equates to for one high grade egg, you can get a grown up adult pet straight away which I bought one here because I bought a founder's pack, so I already had MCash from that. But what's crazy about this, this is the pet I bought. And here's the stats on it. Now you can re-roll these stats for 30K gold if you want. I, think, I don't think I have enough money. I think I already used it all. But these are the pets I got for free in game. So you can already see my pet's attack and defense compared to the one I paid $7.50 for. Now the pets, when you're in combat, I don't know, they don't really do that much damage. But the biggest thing here I would say is that movement speed, which I need to keep trying to get my movement speed up by rerolling these attributes here. So when you gamble and pull a pet, its stats are random on there. You could get a unique, you could get a legendary pet which has, you know, better stats than the lower one. This is, this is the main gotcha system. I want to go more in depth than this in a different video. For now, let's keep the wheels rolling here. You can also spend MCash on these level up packs. There are three different ones you can buy. You can only buy one per server. So if you wanted to buy all of these, this would cost you 30 bucks. And what it is, is you get crystals. That So that's everything you can buy with the MCash. Let's go ahead and talk about crystals. So remember, the way you get crystals is through either the black market or buying it with the MCash, the real currency. Crystals don't have too many options. Where you can spend the most though is here with these nurture packs. And there are six of these and each of these can be bought three times. So that's 18 purchases here, which is a grand total of 8,298 crystals you have to spend to purchase every single one of these, which is a total of $165 just for these nurturing packs. Granted, they, I don't know what they give you because it doesn't tell you, which again is scummy, but based off the pictures, we can assume that it's potions, swiftness potions that help increase your move speed, which could be game changer in PVP, buff food. I mean, it depends on how good the buff food really is. Like if it's unique buff food, I mean, that's, that's huge, but we don't have enough. Info. I don't, I don't, I have enough information and be honest with you, I'm not probably going to buy one of these. I just don't want to. I'm going to try to be kind of smart with how I spend my stuff from the founders pack. So there's the nurture package with crystals. You have your inventory expansion. Again, this is the same as the MCash one over here. These do stack. So you can have another 20 inventory slots for 14 days with crystals. This is 10 bucks, you know, unless you're playing the market really well and you have a good source of crystals that way. So you can get an additional 40 inventory slots from this cash shop. You can also buy costume merges and phantom spheres you can buy once per day. With the costume merges, basically that ties it again into your gotcha system where we will I want to talk more in depth in a different video. But basically, if you're getting lower quality costumes and you have duplicates, you want to merge them up for a higher tier costume, that's where this would come into play. The Phantom Sphere, and then over on the gold tab, there's only one thing you can buy, 100k gold, which is very easy to get within a day. 
and it's a daily purchase of a phantom sphere that you can then use to crystallize and have a random chance at a costume. So at the end of the day, you're probably wondering one of two things. You're either wondering how much money am I gonna have to spend on this game? Or you're wondering, what do I do with my founder pack items? What's the best thing I should do? Let's go ahead and talk about what you could expect to pay. And then we'll talk about my recommendations next. So if you wanna buy, let's just assume you want to buy everything in the game up front, day one, no founders pack, you're waiting until the free to play date, but you're gonna, you're gonna buy everything on the shop that you can possibly buy. So that's going to be your Mad Pass, your World Tree Blessing, your 40 slots of bags, all of those nurture packs we talked about, and one high grade egg. And the reason I say one high grade egg is because it's, in my opinion, that's all you really need to get started, just so you can have that mount right out of the gate. For all of that, you're looking at spending about 280 US dollars. And then after that, you gotta remember, you're gonna have to re-up every two weeks, you're gonna have to redo your bag slots and your world tree blessings, as well as the battle pass every season as well. So that's a high maintenance fee just for the 40 bag slots and the world tree blessing alone will run you $50 a month, US dollars. Now let's go ahead and talk about what I really truly believe is what you should spend your money on and what is really truly worth it. There are four things that I think you should buy if you're going to be playing Mad World. The first one is definitely that battle pass. I know I haven't picked it up yet, so it's a little bit hypocritical of me, but I'm probably gonna pick it up here soon. I have the cash from it from the founders pack. The other thing I would recommend here is that high grade egg. And again, this is just so you can have a mount right out of the gate. That's seven dollars. The the mad pass, whatever battle pass is sixteen. And then I would also recommend the inventory slots, which is a total of 15 bucks. So all together for your battle pass, your high grade egg and your bag slots, that's $40 just from the get go. But I feel like really with those four items, that's everything you're gonna really need right out of the gate. So you're getting all the materials from battle pass, you have a mount and you have more inventory space. But honestly, like if you're really trying to spend the bare minimum, I would say at least the high grade egg and the battle pass. I don't know if the inventory slots are necessarily required because as you level up, you do unlock more slots as you progress. That's pretty much everything for the Mad World cash shop. And with the crystals, the last thing I want to say is there's not really anything that you can just like buy a whole bunch of over here with crystals other than the merges you could buy a bunch of, but I don't know why you would unless you have, like even the phantom spheres are limited as well to a daily purchase. The only thing that I could see that you could just keep spending money on forever and ever and ever until you get what you want is these pet high grade eggs, because that's going to give you the most boost really if you can get a legendary amount with high movement speed. Or, you know, if you're into the costume game, you know, you could spend that forever as well. But again, we're going to talk about that in an upcoming Mad World video covering the gotcha system. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.